make these tiny things like this, you know, that's easy to read. Um, I like to blame it all on my age, but I blame it on this damn NCAA stuff. Um, you know, it was a strange game. I, I, uh, I thought uh, we played good enough to shoot it a lot better than we did. Um, we took 33 threes, which is a joke, but um, they were mostly because the way Greg decided to guard us, and he was probably right in some ways. Uh, I've never in my entire time knowing Cassius Winston seen him miss that many open threes that he was just short on. But what I loved about Cassius today, he was a little better defensively, and I loved the fact in huddles and that, he just accepted it and was fired up for other guys, like Aaron Henry making assists. You know, anybody want to read this to me like I'm in kindergarten? Because I can't see it. Uh, how many assists did Cassius have? Cassius had four. I knew there was a purpose to bringing you in here. Um, you know, that's a shame because he made some great passes, some great lobs. I mean, that's a day when you hope to have 10 assists. And, uh, and we didn't do a very good job of finishing for him. I thought some of my guys were, were real average, Xavier the first half. But I thought, you know, Gabe struggled, Cash struggled. But at the other side of it, give, give Oakland credit for some of that. And, and, uh, and then give some of our guys credit, like Aaron Henry played better. Although I'm going to tell him that, you know, I'm on him about his rebounding, so maybe I should start, Stephen. He had three and Aaron had two, so I might think about that this week. Um, but uh, I thought Aaron played really well. I thought Marky played better, did a pretty good job on that kid when he was in there. And I thought Thomas Kithier deserved to play way more minutes than he played. He, he was, uh, I thought he played really well. Malik struggled. He was sick before the game, and didn't handle it very well, but uh, all in all, I thought Greg did a good job with his big guys getting it in there, and we defended it okay. Uh, but the things that bothered me, missed some wide open shots, and turning the ball over 17 times um, uh, is unexcusable. Questions? You mentioned the shooting and the threes, but would you, most of those, would you feel like they were all? Oh yeah. Decent shot, though. I mean, I, I mean, Gabe. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I'll wear glasses in here next time. Oh, five. Stu, the hell with the NCAA. Let's get bigger numbers here. How about that, Stu? What was it? Gabe was zero five from three. Yeah, you know, and I bet he took four to five were great shots. Cash was one and nine, and I, I just don't remember. I think one bad one I can remember. He took maybe the first one of the game, and the rest of them I thought were great, not good, great. He just, he just, he was short on every one of them, you know. Is, you know, that, so those two guys, two of my best shooters, are one for 14. And the other issue with Xavier is an 80% free throw shooter last year. He went one for five, and I think missed two front ends of a one and one. So. You know, we played good enough defensively, and we ran good enough, I thought, to be better than we were. And yet, uh, I think you got to give Greg credit every time we cracked them. They found a way, like right before half, to come back. And I, you know, I just, uh, it's easy to say I love this game. When you beat a team 18 straight times, there's nothing I love about it, especially when he's a friend. But what I did love about it is, it's so good to come down here. Our crowd was was so good. It was good to see however many people were here, you know, but it was a lot. Um, it's great to have Spartans here that don't get to see us play. So I'm appreciative of the arena and, and what they've done, of, of Greg, what he's done, and, uh, and just keep this thing going a little bit because uh, it's great to be down in Detroit and it's, it's fun for our guys last night to just awesome what this city is starting to turn into and places like this are a big reason. You mentioned the, the defense and the running and other coaching work on a lot this week in practice. Did you see the progress you wanted? I did. Or? So we defended, we ran. Those were both positives. We turned it over some and we missed shots. Those were the negatives, you know. Um, to be great at something, you know, 
quarterback has got to drop back. He's got to have enough time to throw the pass. He's got to throw the pass. Someone's got to catch the pass. And then, you know, it's if every other part of it goes good and the guy drops the ball, it's a bad play. And uh, eventually we have to finish some of those. And, and that was the only disappointing part for me. I thought we had good enough shots, but maybe we didn't. You know, the film might tell me something different. Because of Tillman and Winston not being able to make the shots that they were able to have pithier come out, go four for four, he led all scores with eight, or he led everyone with eight points at halftime. So just I just, how important was it for him to come in and, and do that? Just, well, I think all of you should challenge Dwayne Stevens since he was my subbing guy because mm -hmm. I challenged myself after the game and said, who the hell didn't sub him? And really it was me. I'm, I'm just kidding for DJ, but... Him and I are in charge of that, and uh, he should have played more. He he played well. He defended well. He rebounded well. He scored well. Um, that was a positive. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, Bingham takes a lot of crap from everybody, but he's getting better, and we're going to need that size sometime. Uh, you know, and that was the first time we played uh, Julius much, and I still like Julius and. So it's going to be by committee at that four spot, but we just got to make sure that we had a couple lobs to Kyle Arndt, you know, right through their hands. I mean, those plays are game-changing, momentum-changing, crowd-changing plays. And uh, but I think some of it, too, is, you know, we, as, as they said, you know, we got different guys running different lanes just because of the injuries and different things. So we got to shore that up a little bit. This will be a big week of practice. You mentioned yeah. about the, the rebound for Henry, but the dispersal was pretty good among the guys. You know, talk a little about maybe what, what you saw to get Connor in early, and then also, I mean, you know, it's like six from Brown, five from Kyle, too. Well, Gabe Brown is, is rebounding well. Kyle's rebounding better, you know. He, he's really had a mental stigma to get through that injury. And as he said, he has no problem going up, but he has a little problem coming down. And, uh, you know, and, and really, it, that's a tough deal. You know, it's easy to say what I said. I'll tell you what I said. You know, you don't live your life thinking about dying. You can't live your life thinking about an injury. It's easier said than done when you've been through a lot of them, but I think he even agreed with me. And um, So Gabe and him, you know, there's no reason Aaron can get, can't get more. What did Xavier end up with? 13. 13, he should have had a double-double if he made a free throw, you know. And... Um, but we did get more out of some of those guys. You know, Connor hit a three and, and did okay. You know, he does get a lot of rebounds uh, per minute. He had five rebounds. Uh, I, I think what I'm most pleased with is I'm not as worried about Cassius and Xavier. I had been more worried about Aaron Henry, Gabe Brown, uh, a little bit of other fours. And I guess in that respect, we made some progress. How, how unusual is it for you to go up against Greg with an <laughs> offense that doesn't shoot threes? Yeah, really weird. Really weird, you know. But to his credit, um, you know, he's a really good offensive coach. And so he's not running quite as much. He's slowing it down. He realizes his, his strength is his inside game like a good coach should. And I think he's uh, I think he's barking up the right tree, you know. Now, Hills Mays is a, is a horse. He really is, you know. And he's... I mean, we were digging on them, and they weren't shooting as good now tonight. Second so half, they made some shots. If they make some shots, that'll that'll change his too. You know, they were shooting 28 coming in, so we both got to make more shots. But he's got to make more than I do because he's got a an inside guy that can really score it in there. So it was different, though. You know, you're used to the last year that ball's going up and down, and he's shooting a zillion threes. I got to really look at the film. 33 threes is a lot of threes for us. Um, but I do think most of them were pretty good shots. Coach, Coach you and Campy have been at your respective universities for 70, 70 plus years. Um, so you guys got that in common, the longevity. Well, what makes it so special, you and him's relationship, how you guys team up on you know cancer research and dollars, and, and have this annual game here down in Detroit that does a lot for us, the sporting community down here. You know, if I was really smart, I wouldn't even answer that question because you made me feel absolutely terrible like 75 years, you guys. Have been, you know, just because you're a little younger, don't be a jerk. <laughs> okay. But uh, I would say that, uh, 
you know, you got to respect Campy because you never know, you know, like he comes in a tie today. I, I said, who the hell are you? You know, usually he's got a, a snowmobile suit on. You know, I said, well, well, what the hell are you doing? That's the first thing I asked him. He said, well, we're giving a check. You know, I said, well, I know Ken's wife. She, she, she's seen you dress for 20 years. You know what, you think you're fooling her or what? But I think he was trying to impress you guys, so he wears a tie. And uh, I told him after, I wouldn't wear a tie didn't turn out too good for you, but um, <laughs> Greg's, a, Greg's a really good offensive coach, and he's, uh, he's just an interesting guy, and you know, when he took on this thing for cancer, and he really got some coaches involved, and uh, you know, I'm kind of his anchor, I'm his mainstay, because I just can't say no to the guy, you know, and uh, you know, when we talked about extending this rivalry, so now we extended it, I think, five or six years? What do we extend? Six. Six. six years. So in your smart aleck way, I guess both of us will be 90 years by the time we're done. And uh, someday you're going to feel bad saying that. I just want you to know that. But I, I, I have great respect, and I have great respect. The Oakland-Michigan State thing has been good, and I know it's easy to say when you, when you want them all, but let's face it, guys, we've had some wars with them. I mean, we've had some really good teams that went to overtime to the buzzer, and, and he's had some good teams, you know. His guard play, uh, you know, is, is under work right now. They're going to get better. I've seen on film, they played some teams really well so far, and they're going to get better, and their bigs keep getting better. If those guards get a little better, um, they'll, be, they'll be competing in that league. So any other questions you got? We got time for one more if there is. I do got I do got one more coach. Yeah, after his. Uh, you talked about the uh, you talked about how, how you guys like coming down to Detroit and, and, and being part of this. Do you think that there's a way to build on it? Like you guys played the doubleheader a couple of years ago. Have there been discussions about doing something more like that, or you think maybe another team this year playing somebody? I think Stu would like us to play our whole schedule down here. Am I right, Stu? <laughs> sure. Um, you know what? Uh, like I said, it's, I don't think it's ever been bad. <laughs> you know, we played it different ways. We we had those years when we played Oklahoma and Kentucky and, you know, different games down here. And uh, I just don't think it's ever been bad. The Oakland thing has worked out. You know, the problem I have is, uh, you know, we play four home games now. You know, I'm the antichrist of some programs that are playing nine out of ten at home. And uh, we've been on the road the whole time. Not that this is... It's much on the road. I mean, this is a privilege to play down here. And, and I think what's going on with the building, you know, like yesterday we went down and practiced. Pistons were nice enough to let us practice at their new facility. And it's just, it's, it's just been a, a really good relationship. I think us with you, you with us, and us with the community and the community with us. I don't know. I don't know what, what that'll bring. You know, we're so locked in now because... You know, we got the tournament champions, the Gavin games, the AC Big Ten Challenge, the Thanksgiving thing. You know, I've only got a couple games to even play with. But I'm probably dumb enough to do something. Um, and if I get a little older, I might not even remember what I did. And you'll be happy, so that would be good, too. Coach, uh, uh, in the house with Pistons, did you get a kick out of Steven, uh, Steven rebounding like Rodman out there and time you had him? Are you on drugs? Are you crazy? Um, Stephen got up for a couple of those. I got to give him credit, you know. But uh, you know what? It was fun. I I appreciated the way the people handled it. I appreciated we our players. You know, I, I I try not to take away from anybody else, but at the same time, uh, memories are awesome things. Memories are awesome things, and someday um, there'll be some memories that'll last two lifetimes, and I greatly appreciate that and uh, but I'll close by saying guys that I wasn't pleased with how we played in general but that usually happens when you don't shoot well but I'm sure Greg wasn't <laughs> pleased either and uh, but it's really been a good thing it's been good for us it's been I think still good for them and I think it's been great for the city so keep promoting it um, we're gonna keep coming back um, and uh, We'll see if we can get better this week. This is a big week for us. Uh, you know, we got another road game. I don't know as of right now, but I don't know if one Big Ten team has won on the road yet, have they? Don't think so. 
I mean, that seems almost ridiculous, but uh, so maybe that'll be our battle cry because uh, I think Chris has turned that job around. It, they started out really slow and they're coming back. So you guys, if I don't see you, uh, have a good Christmas. Um, some of you that I will see, I'll, I'll tell you that again uh, next weekend, but the ones from down here, uh, the city looks great, man. I walked around last night, all the lights and the trees and... Uh, you know, I was going to try to bring my wife down with me because then I would have brought her back. But she came down with her girlfriends. I mean, she's staying here and shopping. So if somebody sees her out there, uh, they ought to put the damn credit card away. Okay? <laughs>